Hi, it's Leslie, and yes, I'm still flying solo, but couldn't miss this episode. Married at first sight. Let's just jump right into it. There was a lot of missing pajamas, a couple pairs of missing pajamas, kind of curious. We had our first wedding. We had an, a very hot and steamy shower scene. And then one of our favorite couples, at least one of my favorite couples, is already starting to look like they're having problems. A little crack in the armor there, which I was just like, what? Already? We're, we're, it's the wedding night. Anyway, we're going to get into it all. But before that, please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we will keep you, keep you updated on all the goings on on Married at First Sight. So I'm going to start off with Nate and Stasha. I finally said her name correctly. Anyway, this couple's got chemistry. They are actually super attracted to each other. It was like they had deep conversations, you know, showing their emotional side. Everything is looking good for them. I am, you know, and it's the wedding night and everything. I'm still a little nervous about that blonde chick. You know, someone in the vows, one of his friends said that he's a freak in the sheets. And my thought is maybe that girl has some personal um, experience with his freaking the sheetness. But anyway, um, wedding night went great. They're totally attracted to each other. They ended up with the most steamy scene, at least so it appeared to the viewers. They ended up in the shower and it was hot. It's so bizarre to me because you have this camera crew here and you are, are comfortable enough. I mean, I'm all for getting in the moment, but to get naked, end up in the shower. And I guess at some point the camera crew leaves. That's wonderful. So they seem like they're a great couple. I mean, the only thing is Stasha is a workaholic. It sounds like she makes a really good living. Nate, it's a little cryptic there, his whole financial situation. He's a day trader. Okay, but I guess he had a business, but it sounds like he has a little debt there. That's a little scary for someone who probably really manages her money really well. But he brought her breakfast in bed. All super, super cute. Um, they have a good chance. Okay, I'm just going to move on to... Alexis and Justin and there's an attraction also there what's so bizarre is how this always happens is that I guess they have kind of crossed paths before on some dating apps and she's turned him down a couple times so I'm like ooh, ouch but anyway there they are there seems to be a mutual attraction um, in this episode they went and talked to like the friends and everything and I'm like how many times you know they asked her have you ever been engaged? And of course she has to say, I've been proposed to three times and turned them all down. I'm like, how many times is she gonna pitch that? Like as if that's some credit to her, I don't really get it. But there seems to be an attraction there, you know. Um, you know, uh, so all things seem good there. It just cracks me up on their wedding night that at some point they kind of step aside and have to talk to the camera and the producers about how everything's going and there's Justin standing there, you know, with his shirt off and I'm like, mid, mid wedding night i don't know it's just very bizarre with these cameras when you when you actually envision that there's camera crew sitting there and you're hey joe you know whatever but I'll, I'll very interesting anyway so they all talk to like the family members and it always just seems like a job interview you know you're going to say the right thing even if it's a negative you're going to make it into a positive and justin with i'm a people pleaser you know emotionally sexually and i'm like oh what a wonderful man but anyway so he pitched himself. They seem off and running despite the fact that she turned him down before, but you know, so far there seems to be definitely a serious attraction on Justin's part. He is just like, oh my God, it's been a year and a half. You are the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. I gotta lay next to you. So he is ready to go. We can only wait and see what happens if that actually gets consummated anytime soon. I'm gonna move on to Mitch and Kristen. Now Kristen was not his ideal, but when she started taking off the 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 makeup and all the things, I guess she became more of his sort. Um, so let's hear it for that. The more that, again, an, a pair of missing pajamas. And it always cracks me up. This is almost just like a, a, a married at first sight like, tradition. It's like, you know, the guy wants to check the girl out, the body, all the things. And you never, you can't really check someone out when they're standing right in front of you very well. But it seems like there's always that scene when they go back to the hotel on that wedding night and she needs help unzipping and unbuttoning the whole wedding gear. And, um, and he gets to stand behind her and he's like, all right, this is my wife, you know, checking her out and all that stuff, unzips or whatever. Unfortunately, I just, I don't think he's attracted to her, which is so crazy because she's pretty and he's, you know, you know, but um, everyone's entitled to whatever. So they're off and running. She's happy, happy, happy. She, of course, didn't have her pajamas, wore a cute little black set, which I thought was very cute. Um, don't want to try too hard, you know, come out in some swanky thing. You might, you know. 
but um, we'll see. I did notice that, you know, he's still sporting his Band-Aid. It looks like he, he refreshed it. There was a, a, a better Band-Aid on. I guess you have to change it. And I heard it was a, a wound from surfing. So, but they did seem to film him a lot more from the right side. So that Band-Aid remained a little more hidden, but I saw it. I saw it, you know, anyway. He, it, it was like a brighter Band-Aid. Now it's like white, so you can really see it. I don't know. I, I just think something could have been done other than the Band-Aid. But anyway, we, we move on from here. Lindy and Miguel. Now this was my couple. These were the ones, if my partner was here, these were the ones that were going to go all the way. They seem so cute. She's cute. She's bubbly, all these things. Miguel is cute. I mean, perfect. You know, like the fan, other than that brother who kept it, you know, I'm all for your beliefs, but you know, she's her individual. He needs to let that go. And, you know, talking about sex and have to have to, you know, the family's like, you need to get to know her and all these things. Anyway, it was all going great. Happy, happy, happy. They come back to the, the room after on the wedding night with the Camry crew in tow. And, you know, she has to needs help getting her wedding dress. And I guess Lindy gets in a little bit of a panic situation. I mean, Maybe it's just nerves being the wedding night. Anyway, she's in the bathroom and starting to freak out. And as Miguel says, this is like, he's not done, thankfully. He, he, it's just a big red flag that I guess she's kind of freaking out over, you know, that she's in there and she wants to get this thing off and get her hair up. And, and I'm like, okay. And, and then it was weird. They show the time as if it's significant. A half hour didn't seem that crazy. You're getting ready for bed on your wedding night. Whatever. But then it was odd is that, he, he, they show him waiting and just kind of like, you see his attraction to her just like ticking down with every time she starts freaking out in there and she can't find something and can't find her pajamas, another one with the lost pajamas. And then he knocks on the door and just walks in and I'm sitting there thinking, I get your, like, that was so bizarre. It made me think the whole thing was set up. How can you knock on the door and not even wait for her to answer? And he literally just walks in. He walks in. I guess he has to go to the bathroom. He has to take a leak and... He's still annoyed that she's getting things together or whatever. And then it's like, well, I'll just, I guess I have to go take a leak. That's what he called it. In the other bathroom. I'm like, there's another bathroom? Why are you bothering her? Leave her be. Let her decompress and chill out and all these things. Why in the world would you be sitting out there? Go to the other bathroom. I don't know. It was all very confusing. It seemed like a big setup. But anyway, that is where it all started to go south. And suddenly my favorite, favorite couple is already starting to look like they're not doing so good on the wedding night, on the wedding night. They didn't even get through the wedding night. But anyway, we finally had Morgan and Ben. They got married. Um, Morgan looked beautiful, cute. I love, they both are have like Asian. I love all the different nationalities in these couples. I mean, if they, pro, if they procreate, they will have stunning looking kids, but I don't know if that'll actually happen. We, it's, you know, but anyway lots of different cultures going on here and Morgan and Ben they both had the Asian thing they looked great together he looked ecstatic when he saw her he was so happy she was happy to see him she's very like outgoing and kind of crazy up there but I was like oh I think we have like a halfway decent couple here that that could possibly be okay finally getting down the aisle okay so Bing as we know he is the mama's boy and he's cheap um, they did, uh, before I get into that, they did another ring, the same ring. I'm waiting. If these girls all get together and go, oh, look at my beautiful ring. My dude got me, my husband. And they're all the same ring from the same place. I don't know. Obviously a sponsor, but that's fine. That's fine. So she has the ring and it's, it's beautiful. And he's a mama's boy. And the thing that scared me is like, he's talking with his mom. Who's just like glowing. Um, and that's my boy. And she was like, and Bing was like, if there's anything, you know, you don't like about her, or whatever we can work on and I can try to change it or something. I was like, what? Like mom is up here and everyone else follows. Like, and I was like, that is going to be the kiss of death for this couple because he needs to put her first. And suddenly he's worrying about his mom is the most important thing that his mom likes this girl. So that is a little scary. Anyway, they had a great kiss on the altar there. They both look super happy. So this far into it, we're optimistic that things could actually go well for them. So that is the update. Um, if you like this update, please subscribe to our small but mighty channel. We need subscribers. We want people to follow along with us. We will we post every night and we'll keep you updated on all the goings on. We're obviously super passionate about Married at First Sight. I'm hoping next week my partner in crime will be back with me. But please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.